Ever since I've started making these videos, I've become a lot more mindful about how I talk. I've become a lot more conscious and aware of the words that are coming out of my mouth. And something I've noticed is I say words like I think a lot. There's other words I say a lot as well. One of them is I think. One of them is just ums, likes, and lastly, is you know. And those are all filler words. They don't mean anything. Well, the word I think, it does have more meaning to it because you're trying to like communicate your thoughts but i don't like saying it because i say it way too often almost every statement i make starts with i think and i've noticed i do this for two reasons one is because uncertainty about what i'm saying second is when i say it when i say it in the context of Let's say I'm countering someone. I say it so I don't sound too, I don't know if the word's apprehensive, or I, I don't found, sound too combative. Um, it's like the people pleasing side of me. So instead of, so let's say someone, someone says one thing and I think the other thing, I would say, I would start my statement with I think. So that way it doesn't feel like, no, this is wrong. This is how it's supposed to be. But there's other words I can use instead to come off as a lot more friendly or less aggressive. But in general, we use these words a lot. And it, you see how I'm talking very slowly right now? It's because I'm trying to be very conscious about what I'm saying. My default is still using those words. Uh, even this uh, that I do, why can't I just like sit? I just said like. So yesterday I was reflecting on this and even yesterday when I was making this video, I noticed that I said it and I'm like, hmm, this is something I want to talk about. And um, last uh, yesterday morning I was, I was writing this. I was writing about how I say like and I think a lot. And literally in the next sentence, I started my sentence with I think. So it's so inrooted in my speech that I don't even think about it. I just say it. So... I want to be more mindful about this in general. I just want to be more mindful about how I speak, how I communicate my words, because I want to become a better speaker. And um, I've got a long way to go. So me saying words like I think a lot, it, uh, like I said, it has two meanings. Either is uh, I, I, am, I lack confidence in my knowledge or second is I'm trying to please someone or trying to not come off as combative. But let's focus on one. If I find myself making statements so often that I start with I think, then that's a problem because I lack uncertainty in my life or I lack knowledge in my life. And if I lack knowledge, if these are just thoughts, if they're not objective, then maybe I shouldn't make them. Or maybe instead I should back them up with something. I, I should have more more confidence in them maybe they are maybe they are valid thoughts but um maybe i should be more confident in them um sometimes it's also like when you're about to make a statement that uh, is a bit strong um let's say for example me saying uh music is bad for you i would probably start with i think music's pretty bad for you so see how i use the words i think and pretty why can't i just say music is bad for you because I need to like slowly ease it in. So that's why I'll use, I'll think like, hey man, I'm not that confident on this. And like pretty bad for you. It's not bad, but it's like kind of bad for you. So it's like, okay, like let me, let me just place it in easily. But these words don't have much meaning. And I've noticed like even when I draft up emails, even using the word very is, uh, is kind of a filler word. Uh, so because you don't know the word for very cold you'll say very cold and i notice this because when i when i write my emails sometimes i'll use words like very or this is genuinely so great so i'll use words like that so great because i don't know the word for so great or very cold uh which is fine this is how humans talk if i start if i stopped using these words then i think people would probably no longer be able to relate to me or they wouldn't maybe even understand what i'm saying but this is something I'm trying to better understand because like I said, I want to become a better speaker. And um, 
I think one of the steps is um, being more mindful about the words that come come out of my mouth. Uh, I'm not saying that I shouldn't use words like very or even words like like, um, but I should use them less and I should be more intentional about how I use them or in what context I should use them. Uh, because even the other day, I, I had this like one design session uh, with these designers and this guy made this really good statement. Really good. Why didn't I just say great? This guy made this great statement that really res that resonated with me. <laughs> And the statement was that one thing that we teach our designers is instead of starting your system, instead of starting your sentences with I think because, you should say it should be this way because. So so it's like when you say it, when you start your sentence with I think and you go on, it's more it sounds more subjective. But when you say this is this because you're backing it with more objectivity. You're not just like, for example, me saying that, um, um, I think I, okay, let me think, let me think. Give me one second. I got this. I got this. So, okay. Let's just think about design for, for, for an example, uh, for example, um, let's see, come on, come on, come on. Snappy think on the spot. Um, okay, so, so, okay, let's look at, uh, my home screen. Can you guys see this? Okay. So example, if I say something like, come on, focus. If I say something like, okay, it's not going to work. Okay. Let's use this right, right here. Oh, it's on this side. Okay. So if I started my sentence with, I think this should be purple or I don't think should this should be gray. That's more rooted on subjective. That sounds subjective. Even if it's an objective statement I'm about to make, it doesn't sound certain. So instead, if I'm like, the color of this text should not be gray because it's gonna blend into the background. It's gonna be hard to see. So see the difference between these two statements. One of them is more, more so based on subjective su subjectivity that like, oh, I, I, think, I think this shouldn't be gray versus this shouldn't be gray because it's going to blend into the background. So I want to make more statements like that in my life where I, where I have opinions that are backed on knowledge that are backed on things that can't necessarily be argued with, um, not to defend myself, but just to have stronger beliefs in my own life. And when I talk, I, so for example, for me to be like, I don't think you should listen to music it should be, you shouldn't listen to music because ABC. I don't even know if I've had this conversation about music on this, but I guess that's something we'll talk about eventually. Um, you shouldn't listen to music. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, but yeah, I so I want to be more mindful about the words that come out of my mouth. So I want to start. I was just thinking, I'm like, should I stop saying I want? Hmm. Hmm. Words. Words. You know what? Actually, I. Was it a video I saw? I think it was a video I saw or a, po a podcast I listened to this morning that talked about how even the statements that you make being like, oh, I, oh, no, it was a podcast I listened to yesterday with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he used to talk about how um, he used to like manifest who he wanted to be in his mind. So he wouldn't even use words like, oh, I want to become a bodybuilder or like I want to become Mr. Olympia. He would just be like, I'm going to become Mr. Olympia when I ABC. So even me being like, um, I want to become successful or I want to become an artist. No, I will become an artist when I ABC. I think these words make a big difference in our lives. And because we just talk, we don't really think about these things. We just say them, but people perceive us a certain way, how we talk. It's not just, I know that like all these like, um, these like macho masculine guys talk about how you should walk. you should talk with a deeper voice so you can find so girls can find you more attractive and stuff like that. But I think if you're talking with a deep voice, but you're still using words like like and you're just uh, stumbling over your words, then no girl's gonna like you. Okay, I don't even know how I did that, but what comes out of your mouth is more important than how it sounds, right? So that's what I want to focus on. I think a lot of us focus on the wrong things in life. 
I don't know where I was going with that, but vocabulary. I feel like I really butchered this video, and this just goes to show how much I struggle to articulate my thoughts sometimes, but this is something that I really, really want to work on. And maybe five years from now, I'm gonna like duet this video and be like, wow, look, look where I was, and this is how I used to talk. I don't think I'm a bad talker, but I wanna become a better talker. And that starts with stop, st that starts with removing these filler words, like such as, not like, such as like, such as, um, such as, you know, such as, uh, ums and all this other filler stuff. I know I'm missing one word that I use very often. I think, such as I think, because no, uh, it's like, I, some, sometimes it's okay to say that because you're communicating your thoughts. If you're just trying to, if, you, if you're not confident in, your, in, in what you're about to say, then it's okay. You can sometimes use that word, but I just don't, I feel like I say it way too often. Even in things that are rooted in rationality and confidence, I still use the words I think. So I want to stop doing that. And um, yeah, I want to become a better communicator. I want my thoughts and my opinions to be more based on objectivity, based on facts, rather than just being opinions that uh, I have not spent much time thought thinking about. Although I do think that my fit, my opinions are formed on a strong foundation on the basis of Islam, on the basis of logic, but that's just kind of a coincidence. Rather, I want it to be, it's like, okay, if I have this thought, I want to make sure it's backed by, you know, like a strong belief uh, rather than just uh, just thoughts. So yeah, trying to become a better speaker, bada bing, bada boom. All right. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Peace.